back on Morning Drive, and in 2011 at the ANA Inspiration, Stacey Lewis shot 69 in the final round to win her first major championship and first official victory on the LPGA Tour. We're delighted to have her with us in Studio AP today. It was a pretty good jump, Stacey. It was, and you don't forget that jump either. <laughs> I'm sure you don't. And you put on the robe to yeah. dry and warm up after. That must have been so special for you. Mm -hmm. It was. The first win there at, you know, a golf course that I love, so... And then two years later, here you are at the Women's British Open. It returned to the home of golf for a second time when you won your second major. After 36 holes on Sunday, what a feat. Of course, it was at the old course at St. Andrews. No American had won a major, women's major, since your previous one at the ANA Inspiration. I'm sure you remember that bridge pretty well, too. I do. I mean, I've had two pretty storybook major wins, so I don't know how you top them. Well, I'm sure you made them in 2016. <laughs> Who knows? I, well, yes. We're delighted to also now be joined by the chairman and CEO of KPMG, Lynn Dowdy. Wonderful to see you Again, thanks Thank for coming you. in. It's great to be here, Kara. I understand that you've got a pretty significant announcement today that involves Stacy, and you're going to break it to us live on, yes, on Morning Drive. Over we are. to you. Well, as as you know, Stacy Lewis is an incredible brand ambassador for KPMG and such an important part of the KPMG family. And you know, she just represents us so well. Her character, determination, the passion that she brings to everything that she does. And, and we are so pleased to announce the renewal of our relationship with Stacy, our global uh, sponsorship agreement with her. And so we couldn't be more thrilled to announce that today. Well, that's fantastic news. Yes. Congratulations. Yes. You must be pleased to have that secured for a few more years. I am. I'm really excited. You know, I've, I've enjoyed working with KPMG over the last few years. And, you know, they started, we started in 2012. And, to think from where we were then to now, you know, we're doing this a major championship and a summit and everything around it. I mean, it's just crazy how far, you know, that relationship has come in just three years. Yeah, I was lucky enough to be at the KPMG Women's mm -hmm. PGA Championship earlier, uh, well, last year, I should yeah. say. Now, we'll get onto that in a little yeah. bit. But but why is Stacey so good for, for KPMG in the business and for you promoting uh, what you do and, and, and your relationship with the world of golf yeah. worldwide? Mm -hmm. Well, Stacey really embodies the spirit of KPMG and she's an inspiration not only to our people but our clients you know when you you think about the the determination that she brings to excellence and also overcoming challenges um, that, that she's dealt with and done it with such poise and grace. Um, she, she's the perfect ambassador for KPMG and also what she represents for women and how they get involved in pursuing their dreams and objectives. And, and diversity is a big part of our objectives at KPMG and, and she brings that dimension as well. Well, speaking of which, you ladies are both in town here in Orlando for a special event, I understand. What have you been doing early this week? Um, we had a day yesterday. Um, we hosted a, a, an event with KPMG and we had some of their partners, um, but then we also had about 30 of their up and coming, um, we call them their rising stars, you know, they're, and they're, at, what's fun for me is they're actually pretty close to my age, a lot of them, so, um, so I can relate to them pretty well, but they're the ones, you know, that, um, you know, the partners see them moving up to the partnership level in a few years, and so, you know, we get them here, kind of put them in an uncomfortable situation on the golf yeah. course, a lot of first timers, but, you know, that's, you know, one thing we try to teach them is, you know, it's okay to be uncomfortable, and that's, you know, how you grow, and that's how you get into you know those high profile positions and, and you can imagine it's like for these women to spend the day with Stacy I was gonna and, say you know <laughs> yeah. and it's it's uh, it's also coupled with a year-long leadership development program but also coupling it with you know introducing them in some cases for the very first time to golf and who better to learn from than mm -hmm. Stacy and her coaches I was gonna say right. if you're coming to your first ever golf yeah. lesson and, and, yes. and you meet the world number three yeah. it's not all bad how's your golf game by the way Lynn oh you would have to ask that <laughs> it's getting better right? it is well right. actually I participated yesterday mm -hmm. in the clinics that's that Stacy did and um, it's work in process uh, for me but I've been really fortunate as part of uh, the the women's PGA championship that um, I've met, you know, great mentor, golf, my golf mentor is Susie Whaley, who's been, you know, phenomenal to introducing me to um, golf and also our pro at home, Janet Phillips, who kind of took me under her wing and said, you know, we're going to get you ready for this, Lynn. And so I'm relatively new to golf as well, but I'm, I'm loving it. I know you've been playing in a few programs at the yes. KPMG Women's PGA Championship as well. And, and, and this year's event goes to the Sahali Country Club. Yes. We can't wait to attend that. I know they have the Women's Leadership Summit coming back again, but why does yes. Seattle make a good market for you? Well, so I think 
Seattle's going to be great this year. You know, our inaugural event last year at Westchester Country Club, which was phenomenal to have the Leadership Summit coupled with the KPMG PGA Championship was fantastic. But this gives us a new venue on the West Coast where we can reach a, a different group mm -hmm. of, you know, next generation women leaders to participate in our summit. And I think it's actually really important too for the tech sector that's out there, that it'll be close by the ability to uh, reach reach a different group. Yeah, Condoleezza Rice, we're just saying, you had some yes. impressive speakers there. You were up on stage as well yourself. Were you impressed yeah. by some of these women business leaders you met? Yeah, it's this whole process for me has been unbelievable. They, you know, they asked me to be on the board for the summit to, you know, in the meetings and all that. And just to, to be around these women that are so successful and, um, you know, I've got, I had a business card shoved in my pocket this morning <laughs> and told you, said you better call me. So, oh. you know, it's, you know, it's people kind of taking you under their wing and helping you become a better person and better leader. And so for me, it's been a huge learning opportunity and I felt like I've grown a lot from that. It sounds like a great relationship yeah. all around. Thank you for choosing Morning Drive to announce <laughs> this fantastic news. Congratulations. Thank you. Lynn, I know you've got to go catch a flight, I think, <laughs> back home, but you'll stick around for a little bit I'll more. I'll stick around for a little longer. Perfect. We've got Stacey Lewis for another segment on Morning Drive. You don't want to miss it. We're going to look ahead to 2016. What are you planning? You're going to tell us? Wait till after the break. I'll wait. Okay. <laughs> we'll find out what's up when we come back.